You know, New Mexico is, for antelope, it, it's pretty easy. Either you draw or you don't draw. And if you draw, you get assigned a ranch. And you can only hunt that ranch. You can't go hunt other public land around there. So it's pretty cut and dry. The research part isn't that difficult. Now that we stopped here, there's antelope popping up from the grass like jack-in-the-box everywhere. Two over there, there's 18 over here, there's five over here. There's two or three nice ones over to me. I'm accompanied by my uncle Larry Stickler, and, and Larry and I are, are very, very close. Larry doesn't have a tag for this hunt. Sometimes he'll have a tag and I'll go with him, sometimes I'll have a tag and he'll go with me. It's more the time together that enhances the hunt and the experience. Time spent together on this hunting trip will be a lot shorter than Randy and Larry are used to. See, New Mexico only has a three-day antelope season, and for non-resident hunters, that means getting there really early to start your scouting. Randy and Larry will hunt antelope in western New Mexico, near the town of Dadel, a location known for producing trophy bucks. Well, it's home on the range, where the deer and the antelope roam. While they're abundant in numbers, antelope have phenomenal eyesight often compared to humans using 8x binoculars. And with no geographic cover to use for a stealthy approach, stocking for a solid rifle shot becomes exceedingly difficult. Uncle and nephew prepare for their short season on your own adventure. Look at them What's out there. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at all of them. Some of them are big, I could tell just with my binoculars. Ooh. I want to see that one to the left there. That Easy. doesn't even look like a normal oh. animal. <laughs> he almost comes together on the top. He See does. how he is there? This is private land and it's do it yourself. I've arranged with the landowner where I can come here and do it myself. On my own, I'm going to relax, I'm going to have a lot of fun and hopefully I'll find that one I'm looking for. New Mexico's game and fish has a unique system involving all public and private lands. See when a hunter successfully draws or purchases a New Mexico antelope tag, they're assigned to a specific ranch within the hunting unit. So a public hunter has immediate access to hunt on both private and public lands within the assigned unit, the same as any guided hunter. Although hunting on private land may bring with it many advantages to quality and quantity of game, Randy and Larry are still doing this hunt on their own, with no outfitter or guide to help. I've never seen an antelope that long. That, that's long there. Here comes somebody gonna check him out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. What's going to go on? He ain't going to put the run on him. He ain't going to put up with that for very right. long. But right here, there are three antelope bigger than any antelope I've ever shot. This is amazing. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen anything like this, ever. We're going to leave these ones and we're going to go down here because South. we want to know everything about every herd and we've checked yeah. this one out pretty good. The Plains of St. Augustine is known for trophy antelope. The record book is littered with entries from this area and we're very fortunate to be here. The area is an ancient dry lake bed located west of the Magdalena Mountains. It's best known for its landmark of the Very Large Array, a series of 27 radio astronomy observatories. The site was chosen for these antennas because of its remote location from large population centers, a feature which also benefits the antelope hunter. Look how tall he is. He's looking at us right now. I wonder if we can get closer to him, because right now we're 1,200 yards away. Well, should we try your cow trick? I've never seen a cow trick before. I don't think we're gonna have much choice. If this works, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> Look at the cows looking at us. Even the cows are wondering what we are. Let's stop right next to this big post here. Here's your deal. You got it? I got it. Holy moly. There he is. Swap me places and look at that one. They're 740 yards. Is that what it is? Yeah. To, the big to, herd. That, to that big herd yeah. out there. Here. Ooh, look, that one just stood up. Just stood up. Wow. That one's only 244 yards. Look, he's walking right towards us. Let's just stay right behind this cow. He's coming right to us. <laughs> We might just have to shimmy out and see how close we can get to this one. Just because I can't resist the temptation. What do you think, Larry? Do it. All right. Let's kind of keep it at an angle there. This is hilarious. This is. If he were to stop now, we could really get a peek at him. But... Right 
78 yards. I think I could hit him from here with a slingshot. <laughs> Let's just see if we can sneak back out of here. You got the cow? I got the cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as the decoy, Randy brought it out from the pickup and I looked at it. I, I, I was skeptical at the best and we get out there, we're 800 yards, we walk right into 75 yards. I, I think it's going to be an asset to the hunt. Larry and I were hunting in Wyoming three years ago, and the day he got back, he called me and gave me some of the worst news I'd ever heard, and that was that he had a very aggressive form of lymphoma. Any time we have together is just borrowed time. It's extra time, and we cherish it greater than it. It's so hard to explain. Anyone who's been through a life-changing event, <clears throat> event like that knows how wonderful it is to, to get that time back. The, the times of, gee, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. Well, we're doing the wish we would have right now. That, that, we just set our mind to it every year. We're gonna do some of that stuff that we wished we would have. With a full day of scouting under their belt, Randy and Larry are prepared for the first day of a three-day hunting season. The antelope are plenty, but with the wide open plains and no natural cover, getting close requires a perfect plan. He got us on watch, so there, there's two bucks to the left, but I don't think they're very big. Are there? And, oh, I didn't even see those. There's four or five of them there. Okay. One's a very nice buck. I can't tell how big a buck, yeah. but very nice. And he's squaring off looking at a smaller buck. Yeah. I think we just Go got... to the crossroads there. And... Yeah. We'll just drive down here and set up and just glass from there. Once the sun comes all the way up, we'll see everything. I'm looking for a bigger than average antelope. I, this is my one treat of, of this hunting season, and it's going to take a special one to, to get me to say, that's him. But when it's him, I'll know it. Oh my goodness, look at them all up against the fence over there. Is that there. where they went there? Oh, there's one really heavy one in there. Okay, Holy I see him moly. <laughs> this one over to the right here? Okay. I think that's the guy we snuck up on yesterday. Oh yeah? <laughs> so, let me look at him. I, Check I, him out. He's got his head down. He's the one to the left of those three. He looks heavy. Yeah, right? yeah can... he's, a, he's a pretty good one. He's side now. Is he? He's wide, isn't he? Yeah, he's very wide and he's tall, but... I'll tell you, the wind is right to go this way. Yeah. The wind is right to cut, go between the herd and him. If he changes, we can always go to the right again. You know, that's a good idea. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Let's do that. Let's get loaded up here. I hope they don't need that one. They're buck, booking out to the right now. Are they? Yeah, we see. We're going to have to move oh, to the right. We're, we're going to have to do something here. We're, oh, yeah, they're yeah, trucking. Something. Oh, dang it. Is there somebody in on the back side of that fence? I don't know. There's a reason for that. The, the big one's still out there, isn't he? Yeah, he is. But here comes a whole string of them running from over there. Yeah. I'm glad they ran before we got most of the way out there. <laughs> yeah. That would have been frustrating. We would have thought oh. we scared them. Darn it. <laughs> oh my God. Well, let's just yeah, let's load do. up and as quick as these ones move off, okay. he's in there. This one, we think we got it made. He's gonna jump out and either shoot at him or plant a stock on him. So I guess we'll just watch and see what he does. Yeah, he's got him on the run now, boy. And they got one in his sights there. It looks like he's studying this one out in the middle there. Yeah, they're looking our way though. <sighs> All we can do now is just wait and wait. see it happen. Darn Get him out. I didn't see where they were parked there, did you? I didn't either, and all of a sudden I saw the dust flying up and they're driving right into the herd. See, this spot is toast for a while. <laughs> Let's go get the next one. You got to can't stop now. All right, I'll quit crying. I've had guided hunts, and uh, I'm a little sour on those. I was uh, misinformed and misguided, and uh, and now I come on something like this uh, on your own situation. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. 
So the guy we're interested in is facing straight away. Have you got a fix on that other one? Yeah, he's to the left. Is he? Of this herd. They're enough fidgety that they're walking straight away. Yeah, this guy see. to our left is definitely the one we're... I'm glad it's that one because it's going to make our stalk a little easier. It'll be a little longer, but... Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Only by well, a couple hundred yards. Are you ready? If he doesn't stop. If he stops. Uh-oh. Bessie's got her legs planted there. She doesn't want to give her position very well. He's looking at us again. Oh, no, he's looking away. I think they're having a stand out there a little bit. Yeah. They're concerned enough about us, I think, but they're more concerned about sorting out the cards of who's going to win the hand there. I mean, they're, they're, they're taking a casual glance at us. Yeah. So right now, they're watching their does. Easy. I want to get a fix on where those does are now that we're getting closer. Oh, there's two bucks fighting behind them, really going know, after They're just it. carrying on terrible. To, Straight behind them. They're the same ones that came up from the left there. Right there. And now they're running to the left. They're still pushing. Look at that. Just that, left it over. That yeah. one buck is circling that other buck there. <laughs> now oh, he yeah. stood up. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. They're not very happy, though. They're going towards each other there. See that? Hey, that yeah. is. Holy cow! Holy. <laughs> there they go. What? Wow! Holy mackerel! <laughs> look at that! What? <laughs> wow! Look at him pushing it back. Man, that one guy's got it in reverse there. <laughs> Yikes! Who won? The wide guy won. He run off the other guy. And the, the intruder ended up winning that fight, even though he didn't look like the bigger buck. If you aren't hunting, you aren't gonna see this kind of stuff. And we saw it really close up. We were within 200 yards of that. Let's plan our dude here. I'm gonna look at the crowd over here to our right before we mess them up. What do we wanna do, Randy, now with the plan? Do we wanna go to the left? Yeah, we're gonna have to. to how, do we, how far did his go, he, those go? He's starting to hurry now. He's running. Okay. Oh no, I see the doe. No, over I there. see him over there. We got a long, oh, he is running. We got a long ways to go to get to him, but. Boy, I guess so. Now that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Steer to the left now, don't you? Yeah, well, we just want to make sure that we don't get this wind too much at our back. Because even an antelope will blow if you got bad wind. There's our big guy right out from me at about 10 o'clock. Not gonna shoot him today. I now can see that. I I feel stupid not shooting him because I think he's an 82 inch antelope. Every antelope I see, I'm trying to think, oh, the next one might be a bigger one. I've passed some antelope today that I should not have passed, but that's the fun of it. Holy cow, where did that one come from? Holy smokes. He sniffed something. Well, I gotta check that one out further because with that kind of mass and prongs, he might be he might be the true treasure of the day. Look at that. Wow, that is hard to believe. Hard to believe. They're herding them with the ATVs from they're two different directions. They're over yep. there in the west, they're over here in the east. Yep. They got one in the they got their hunters right here. Positioned here. And they're just oh, going back and forth pushing these antelope with ATVs, herding them up. Totally absurd. I'm just, I'm gonna go call the landowner and see yeah. if Travis knows what's going on out I'll here. I'll bet you a dollar that Travis has no idea. Uh-uh. After all the fun this morning, we get close to these antelope, we look and there's dust on the horizon and there are ATVs going everywhere. I can't deal with it. My day is, is on its way down right now. This afternoon, hopefully I can bring it back up. Some of you are probably wondering why would we come to New Mexico and hunt a private ranch? The reason that we did that is because I wanna come and show you the opportunities that are, that are available. Besides all the public land opportunities, people need to be aware that there are a lot of private land opportunities within the grasp of the average man. And this is just another one of the multiple ways that any of you can come out west and enjoy a hunt.
Uh, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wind quit blowing this tripod. Hey, Larry, I think. Look in there. I think that's that biggie, that one that hooks way back with all the mass. He's oh, walking yeah. to the left. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Oh, him? He, yeah, yeah. Hey, holy smoke! How did he end up over here? He was. I don't know. A mile and a half over there. I think we better hit the road and head right straight there. I think so. It's raining. I... Yeah, it's starting to rain on the left and the right. There, he just bedded. He did. He did. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Just go get him. I don't know how he got here, but we're gonna go find him. I'm not messing around, Larry. Okay. If we get within 130 yards this time, there will be lead in the air. Okay, 150 would be good too. I'll take 150 too. I want to get really close. I want to get really close. Let's sit down right here. We're 194. Our guy's in the back. He's fifth from the right. Let's bear a little bit to their left. Just like that, yeah, 146. He's right in the middle there. I, I, I'd take him here. I, I wouldn't wait, I don't think. He's 146 yards. Yeah. I need him to turn. Come on. Okay, there he is. There he goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, he's going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What? I, oh. Wait, he, wait. He's kicking okay. dust up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you be fine. Hey. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to say I got him till I saw him fall. <sighs> we get within 164 yards and the herd just kind of parts and leaves the big guy standing in the middle. And I didn't make the mistake this time of saying, oh, I'm gonna let him go. My mind was made up at that point. <sighs> He's laying right out there. Let's go, let's pack it. Let's go, it's getting dark. We gotta get up there. Hey, Bessie, thank you, buddy. Can you believe that? 146 yards. Where's our, oh yeah, I see that there. Uh, oh yeah. Holy, oh, holy. Yeah. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, holy moly, holy moly, holy. oh he got some, like, yeah, yeah he's on the, uh-huh, oh, oh man, man. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Oh, oh man! <laughs> He's massive. <laughs> 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 wow. Holy <laughs> smokes. Look at that, baby. Oh. No. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at the man. circumference on, on the top. I, uh, I've oh. never seen anything that oh. heavy in I my life. I can't imagine. That's the one that wrapped back so much that we hit. Yeah. Oh. oh, what was I thinking, Larry? I passed on you him. You didn't at have time to think. It was a problem. <laughs> True. You know when they when they shot out on us. I mean, oh. it was we were set up. We we're de making a determination, and and we thought we were spooked. Well, yeah. we well, better start carving here. Yeah, we get the knife out. It yeah. looks like we I better... got to start holding. It's a headlamp open. operation yep. here. And fortunately for Larry and I, both of us have come through some pretty difficult conditions. And now we have the opportunity. We came through with our health intact, with the opportunity to do this stuff. And neither of us are going to let the days pass where we're sitting on the front steps wishing that we were doing this stuff. We're going to do it. And to do it with him, it's just, it's fantastic. Randy found his special buck, and what a buck it was. It officially entered in the Boone and Crockett record book, a true trophy antelope, and one made all the more special because Randy hunted on his own. Hey, whether you get the big buck, the small buck, or no buck at all, the on-your-own hunting becomes the trophy itself. And the best part of any on-your-own adventure is this completely accessible and completely achievable by you, the real American hunter.